Hi, thanks for joining me in another video. Today we're going to go head to head again, Waymo versus Tesla. We'll be driving from McCormick Park to the Desert Botanical Gardens. This route is about seven miles one way. Our Tesla vehicle is running FSD version 12.3.6, and as of today is the newest public release. Since our last video, full self-driving has undergone a name change from beta to supervised. So we'll still have someone in the driver's seat. Waymo has had some updates since we last filmed too. They've expanded their driving area further out of Phoenix. It's now able to drop you off at either of the airport terminals. Check out our video when I had it take me to the airport during the holiday rush at night. They're also working on getting highway driving ready, but it's not here just yet. Waymo has always impressed me with its drive quality and handling of difficult tasks. I believe drive quality is definitely an area where Tesla is starting to catch up. It's taken them a while, but they also don't have a geofence and can drive anywhere. Both systems have their pros and cons. I'll let you know if FSD has to be disengaged at any time during the drive. Waymo and Tesla often take different routes because of how they mapped the destination, so you might see some different scenery along the way. All right, let's do this. All right, hold on, I just have to unlock the car. Heading to Desert Botanical Garden. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Tesla FSD isn't engaged yet. The driver is making sure it exits the parking lot at the same location as Waymo, so it's more likely to take the same route. Waymo is navigating through the parking lot to its planned exit. Hold on, FSD will be engaged here soon. All right, coming up to the left turn and we're back to back. FSD is now engaged. Waymo is inching forward in a very abrupt manner, tapping on the brakes repeatedly. There's no traffic light here, only a pedestrian crosswalk on the right. Waymo has to wait until it finds an opening. Waymo finds a gap in the traffic and proceeds to make a left. FSD is up next. This intersection is pretty busy for both cars. It falls behind as it waits for a clear path forward. Meanwhile, Waymo is approaching a red light. The Tesla is inching forward a bit to try and find a way out. FSD makes its left turn. Luckily, it's able to catch up to the Waymo since this is a longer red light. FSD makes it just in time for the light to turn green and maintains a good distance behind the Waymo. All right, let's speed up some of the straight driving. I'm 
I'm slowing the clip down for a bit just so we can see that Tesla and Waymore are back to back again waiting at the intersection. So far we're on track to take the same path. Okay, speeding it up again. Here, Waymo is maintaining its drive on the center lane, but FSD decides to change into the right lane. Perhaps it thinks the Waymo is driving too slow. FSD is driving slightly ahead of Waymo but eventually slows down due to traffic. Both are making this merge into a curved right turn, FSD maintaining its drive on the right lane and Waymo on the left. Both cars do an impressive job with that turn. They are both pretty much parallel of each other. Coming up to some traffic lights, let's speed it up. A right turn is approaching soon, so Waymo starts to get into the right lane just in front of the Tesla. And here's the right turn, both still on the same course. We're 13 minutes away from our destination, halfway there. We meet again at another traffic light. I bet Waymo is thinking right now, why is that car following me? It's green, on we go. So far they've both seen clear roads. Nothing challenging has come up except for that first left turn. Moving right along. This route is shorter than our others, but it was chosen in order to avoid freeways and both vehicles were more likely to choose the same route.
We're now going back to normal speed for the duration of the trip as we're going to see a difference in navigation planning. We're really close to our destination, but they must navigate through a roundabout first. Here's where we split up. As you can see, Waymo is taking the outer lane going straight through. FSD, on the other hand, is taking the roundabout all the way around in the inner lane. Our destination is a U-turn away, so Tesla's coming right up to the entrance of the gardens. The blue sign on the right is our entrance marker, Desert Botanical Gardens. Waymo decides to drive to the next traffic light. It'll be making a U-turn here. It waits for a clear path and off it goes. FSD is now entering the garden's parking lot. With FSD still engaged, it's navigating through a lot. From a bird's eye view, both cars were driving southbound and highlighted with the red box as a destination. Tesla took the roundabout fully around. Waymo continued south and made a U-turn at the traffic light to go northbound. So as you can now see, Waymo is approaching the same roundabout we drove through earlier. It's driving straight through the roundabout with the gardens up ahead. There's the blue sign. The FSD destination is technically the EV chargers, while the Waymo will be dropped off in the rideshare section. The FSD driver took over after passing the rideshare to complete the drive. Waymo's not too far behind. Almost there. Don't forget your phone, keys, or bag. Making our way up to the front. looking for a spot to pull over. Oh, that was a harsh break. Nope. Doesn't like this spot. Where is it going? I see, there's a right share drop off pickup area right here. But it, not sure where it's stopping. Oh, it's a narrow passageway, I see. Okay. It's going to try to pull in this lot. 
This is good. Wait, I think this is a good spot. <laughs> it still says finding a spot to pull over, so I'm not sure if it's done. Is this where I should get off? It's not indicating that I should get off here. Okay, there it goes. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. Okay. Very good. Let's get off. Bye, Waymo. I think that went pretty well. The arrival times were very close and they took the same route except for the very end. I think this has been our best comparison of the two systems yet, since they both took the same route. FSD didn't have any disengagements and the Tesla supervisor reported the drive was smooth. Waymo also did a good job handling the road. The cost for this one-way trip on the Waymo was $14.77. New things are coming for autonomous vehicles, cruises attempting to come back, Tesla released previews of the RoboTaxi app, and many other companies are entering in the autonomous space. Thanks for spending time with me today. Support our channel and check out our Kaya sticker shop, Kaya's my dog, and follow us on social media at Kaya ZV. That's all for now, and happy charging!